So I just wanted to make a follow up to um, that smooth, realistic flashlight video, and I just wanted to um, cover some comments. Um, <clears throat> so I've gotten quite a few comments about how um, their like FPS arm is breaking and the head's not moving. Um, the fact that the flashlight's doing a full 360 degree rotation when you look around, um, and a couple of other things that I just wanted to cover. Um, so easy ways to fix these, uh, problems is I'll show you real quick. Uh, what I've done is I've made mine look a little bit better. Also don't mind the motion blur, but, um, mine's still smooth, but it doesn't do a full rotation if you all the way around. Um, it's not that hard to fix, but I'll go ahead and show you guys. So inside of our S FPS arm script, we don't even need this anymore. We literally can just delete this. We don't need that anymore for what we're doing. In here, we're not putting the, um, we aren't, we're keeping this where the head is. But since we are moving the mouse, or it's looking at the mouse all the time, we don't have to change the rotation of the head. So down here, when we're making it the head, and we're tweening the C-frame look at to be uh, mouse dot hit that position, this can stay. But to fix the uh, full one 360 degree rotation, go inside of the uh, animation script and change the easing direction from in out just to in. Or if you want to, you could just completely remove easing direction entirely. Another thing that you could do is you could also change the uh, tween speed to whatever you want it to be. Um, my updated uh, code that I've made for this, uh, my updated module, uh, I completely changed the uh, thing here. So whenever you import it, you need to add a uh, number after that, which would be the speed of the code or the speed of the tween. Um, that's one thing that you're going to have to change if you are using my module. Um, by the way, that was the final update for this module, other than the fact that I am going to be adding a return tween so that you can get the tween from it. So you can do like tween.complete or if you want to, you can add it yourself. Um, that's really up to you. Um, so I have a comment here from TV animations one asked from four weeks ago. I'm sorry. I'm getting to these really late saying, hi, my code isn't working. Could you help me? I'm doing this in R six. Um, one thing that I stated, uh, if you are wanting to use the FPS arms, one thing that I stated was if you are using R six, you need to do torso dot neck. So you need to make this torso and you need to make this torso. Then you do torso neck. But if you're doing R15, have it how I'm written out here. I'll leave them. I'll put all the codes in the description if you want to just copy them. Um, FPS arms, I didn't make this. This was somebody else's work. Um, you literally don't even need this. So I'm not going to put that in the description because you don't need it. But I am going to put the flashlight code down there. Here's another one. I am sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. This is from a month ago. I know I'm getting to these very late. Um, but this comment is from uh, Keith Ferenc. I don't know if I said that correctly. I'm very sorry if I did. Um, I have a problem, which is the light spotlight won't work. So basically it doesn't appear. But every other script works for me. I think there's a problem with in my script flashlight. But I uh, can anyone send theirs if it works? And then a guy, or and then somebody called that one kid commented saying that I'm having that same problem. I think it's because the flashlight part isn't anchored or something, but it does say anchored and is that the true? So I don't know. So a way to fix that is, uh, yeah, you may have it set to anchored true, but you need to set the C frame to the current camera. Also make sure that in, in here, you have this set to enabled and you set your brightness to something that's good. That's like high enough so that you can visibly see it. I think I've covered most of the uh, stuff that I've uh, changed. And I've also gone over a few comments that people have been asking about. Um, other than that, um, this is the final code and the final finished product for any of you wanting to uh, know. Uh, like use it or anything. This is what you want to use. I'll put it in the comments so that you guys can use it. Um, this right here is the flashlight on 
every time so you would instead of doing this right here you would do <clears throat> if flashlight on you could or if flashlight on then and then you would do fl dot light dot enabled equals true else and then you just copy and paste this and then set it to false or you could also make this a bool value or bool value inside of here that does that this if i think you might be able to make this a service script but it won't look as good if you want to do that then you can but honestly i would just make it to where it's just two people have flashlights both their client side and uh yeah it's also more performant that way um if there's anything else that you guys want me to cover uh please let me know in the comments um if you want to see more stuff like this like more tutorials on coding and more um uh, scripting support uh make sure to sub turn on post notifications and like the video to let me know that you liked it other than that see you guys later